And now to a tragic scene, four people killed, including three children, when troopers say a driver ran a stop sign. They say that driver is 15. The crash happened last night at Laurel and San Miguel Road, south of Marigold Avenue in Poinciana. News 6's Mark Lehman has been following this story, and new at noon, he spoke with a neighbor who ran for help. Just a tragic situation happening here in Poinciana last night. You can see lots of debris scattered across this area after the impact that claimed the lives of four people, including three children. We're now hearing from a neighbor who jumped into action. She tells us crashes at this intersection happen much too often. I just pray for them. I wish that I could have helped even more. Michelle Torres is coming to grips with the devastating scene she witnessed last night. She ran to help after a high speed crash happened behind her home off of Laurel Avenue in San Miguel Street. And assessed him, took his pulse, calmed him down, talked him through it and um, kept them calm, kept them on the scene. Torres tells us she spoke with the driver investigators say was responsible. According to FHP, the 15 year old ran a stop sign, then slammed into an SUV. The impact killing a 50 year old woman. First responders also were not able to save three children, an 11 and nine year old, along with a one year old baby. I saw the looks of these men. They're going to have to go home to their families, and they know that they couldn't save those kids. Four other people were hurt, including a man in the SUV and three other 15-year-old boys that were in the sedan. Torres saying where this happened has been a problem for years. We've had people who drive through our neighbor's fence at least a dozen times, almost into their house from that intersection. With only a two-way stop sign, neighbors say changes need to be made after a tragedy that should have never happened. Meanwhile, charges are pending and questions remain about why the 15-year-old was behind the wheel. If they could, four-way stop would be helpful. Um, we'll always have people that speed and break the law. It's inevitable, but something has to be done. In Osceola County, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.